YouTube, my name is Tasha and I'm here today with a tutorial for a twist out. My hair is currently growing out a taper cut that I had cut back in March. Um, so right now, I currently do twist outs almost 99.9999% of the time. It is my staple hairstyle. It is quick, it's easy, it's reliable. And as us natural girls know, if it is reliable, <laughs> You stick with it because sometimes this hair has a mind of its own. So that's what I'll be doing a tutorial for today. My hair is currently um, in a blown out twist out. It was blown out about two weeks ago and the twist out itself is about three days old. Um, so yeah, it's definitely ready to be washed and for some TLC. So I'll come back after my hair has been washed and conditioned to show you what products I use and how I achieve what I consider to be my perfect twist out. Hey guys. Thanks. So I'm back. Um, my hair has been shampooed and conditioned. So I'm ready to start twisting. Um, it's still pretty wet. I would say I'm only about 20% dry if that. I usually like to wait a little bit longer to start twisting, but it's a Friday night and I kind of just want to get my hair over with so I can go to bed. Um, so I will go ahead and start twisting now. Um, the product I will be using today is Obia Naturals, their Twist Whip Butter. This is my favorite, my, my favorite product to use for my twists. Um, it just keeps my hair very moisturized. It gives me great definition. I mean, y'all, the moisture with this product. When I use this, I don't have to put anything else on my hair for at least three or four days. And my hair is still moisturized. It is still defined. It is just a really great product. Um, I was using some other products from this line and um, I ordered just the four ounce jar probably about a year and a half ago and of course I thought I had staples at that time that I really love to use but when I tried this it just it blew everything else out of the water for me so this is basically all that I use I have purchased new things just to say you know I'm gonna try something new I haven't tried anything new in a while and I will try it and I'll always come back to this so this is my staple. So this is what I will be using. She also has a curl enhancing custard that I like to use as well. This one is more of a jelly consistency versus the butter there. So as you can see, that's what it looks like. I use this more on dry hair um, after it's been moisturized with some other product because I just find that this is not moisturizing enough for my hair using it alone. So I use this on dry hair and this is mainly around day three or four when I need to retwist because it's getting really frizzy. Um, then I will use this instead of the butter to retwist on the dry hair. I just find that these products, um, of course they work well together but one works better for my dry hair versus my wet hair. So I'll be using the twist wet butter today. As you can see I've kind of already started doing some twists. Um, the bigger twists are just what I put my hair in after I detangled with my, with my leave-in conditioner on just so that I can kind of keep everything a little bit organized. So I'll be taking this down and I will do medium sized twists. Um, as I said earlier, my hair is growing out a taper cut. So at this stage of my growth, I like more big fluffy twist outs rather than the super defined twist outs. So I do medium sized twists. However, if you want your hair to be super defined and you don't want to have to do much separating, I really suggest you do smaller twists because it, it will make a difference. But for me, big frizzy hair is kind of what I'm into these days. So I'll go ahead and separate this section. This will be one twist for me. I will not do any parting as I twist. I just find that it's easier to hide the parts once you wear your twist out if you do not do any really harsh parting so my advice grab and go so that's all I'm doing I'll take some of the twist whip butter which I'll take about that much not a lot at all and I'll just run that down the entire length of that section for me I find that this works better than applying the butter to a larger section and then separating this 
for some reason just feels like it gives me a little more control and I can really feel like I have gotten every strand moisturized and I'm just really doing a good job. So I just work this all the way down the length. I'll then take this and split it as evenly as I can. It's two pieces. I do my twists right over left. I just find that that gives me um, the most definition. It gives me tighter curls um, and it just looks better for me if I have to wear my twists out in public. It looks better for me. Just my opinion. But I'll split this into, do, into two. As I said, I go right over left. So I try to twist as tight as I can to my scalp, of course, without causing any breakage, just so that the roots are just as defined as the rest of the length of the hair. So I've been doing this for a while, so I can twist pretty quickly. Um, to do my whole head usually only takes me about 30, 45 minutes, depending on how small I'm doing it, but usually the medium size here only takes me about 30 minutes. But I will twist all the way down to the end, as you can see, all the way to the end. And once I'm there, I'll just twirl it around my finger so that the ends get their natural curl and then leave it alone. Simple as that. I try not to make it more difficult than it has to be. So I'll just start that again. Take this other section, split it into two. Get a little more of the twist whip butter. Twist whip butter. Eh, 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 eh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> put it down the length of my hair again and twist and you can always apply more product if you find that um, you're not getting much slip or your hair feels a little bit drier definitely just get a little bit more um, sometimes when you get closer to the ends it dries out a little bit so you can definitely just give your ends some extra love if it needs it so I'll go ahead and do that as well just a little bit and also um, while I'm twisting one thing to note that is very important that I will share with you is try not to share hair while you are twisting and by share hair I mean when you're splitting splitting that hair into two to have your two strands to twist your hair if one side ends up being longer than the other side, do not share the hair from the longer side to the shorter side. I hope that makes sense. But that just makes it easier um, once you're ready to take your twist down. If you're kind of taking your twist down from the root to the bottom and you get to the bottom and you start to share hair, you will create knots and tangles and just everything that's not needed so once you get to the end if one part is longer just go as long as you can and then just twirl the rest of your hair around your finger it will still give you that um curl pattern and it will not mess up your twist out at all but as you can see this is the part that i have done so these are the sides of my twists as i said i was not doing them small at all the more my hair grows out the bigger i like my twist just because I like the big fluffy hair at that stage. I don't like the super, super defined twist out. Um, but I will just continue to twist. Once I'm done, I will come back on um, just so that you can see the so, finished twist. Here's my hair. It's totally done. Here they are. As you can see, I don't use so much product so that you see a white residue. Even if I did with this product, it would dry clear anyway. It'll be fine in the morning, but no need to waste product if you don't have to because it's moisturizing enough with the small amount I told you I use per twist. So I will just let these air dry overnight. I will not use a blow dryer or a hooded dryer. Um, air drying just works for me. So I'll just sleep on these on my satin pillowcase. However, I will make a note here that if you do your hair wet or damp and you're about to go to bed, make sure your hair is at least 85 to 90% dry before you lay down. If you lay down and go to sleep on damp or wet hair, then your hair will take the shape of however you're sleeping. So if you're just sleeping flat on the pillow, your twists will be completely flat. If you sleep a little crazy, they'll just be sticking up everywhere. So just make sure to try to let them dry as much as they can before you go to bed. So I will do that tonight. Um, and then tomorrow I will take them down so you can see the twist out. Hey guys, so it's the next morning. 
and my twister all dry. I've already started taking some of them down, but I will be using the oil on my hands just to decrease the frizz a little, and this is what I'll be using today. It is by Curls. Um, I bought it mainly because of the smell, and I do like their products. Didn't really get it for the growth part. Not sure if it actually helps, um, but I use it on my scalp, and then when I'm taking down my hair. So for my twists, I just twist in the opposite direction to get it to come down as easy as possible and then just separate. So twist opposite direction and separate. And that's why I stressed um, before that you should not share hair uh, when one side was longer than the other side just because um, during this process, if you do that and then you get to the ends where you're separating the hair, it can cause knots and tangles and just unnecessary drama. So, just easier just to not do it in the beginning. So, I will do that and I'll just continue to take these down. As soon as you think you have them all, <laughs> you feel and it's just like, nope. There's a few more. Here's my hair without doing anything else to it. So you can see the definition that I got from the product. And if you could feel my hair, it is so moisturized, so moisturized. I love OBA Naturals products. But here's my hair. I don't want to wear it quite this defined. So I'll start separating. So I'll just try for the most part to separate where the hair naturally wants to separate as you can see that one kind of didn't really want to so i just left it alone but when you unravel it it'll kind of naturally separate itself and if you try to pick those parts instead of forcing it to separate it will decrease your frizz a little however if you want the big frizzy hair go for just pulling them apart it works um, and then, of course, if you wanted the defined look, you did not have to separate at all. You could just be ready to go from the previous to style. So I'll just continue to just separate till I'm satisfied. And I really don't do much to the back because it's still a little short from my cut. So I don't separate that much. I usually just pick the roots mostly back there. Um, and that also helps to keep the definition back there a little bit longer. And then if I need to, I can just redo the front area instead of having to retwist my entire head within a few days. So I'll just keep doing that. And as you can see, if it gets a little frizzy or the ends, I just twirl it around my finger to kind of keep the shape of the hair. And since it's first day hair, I'm not going to separate too much just so that it can last a few days between work, the gym, everything else because I don't like to spend a lot of time on my hair. It should not take over your life. <laughs> but we'll see how this is going. Next you'll need your pick. Um, Nothing fancy as you can see. This is my husband's old pick when he had braids um, like eight years ago, nine years ago. So I just use whatever works. But I just pick at the roots. As you can see, I do not pull it all the way through my hair. Just at the roots. And that helps to make your hair bigger. And it also helps to conceal any parts. And that's why I really don't part because if you do part and you do this step, it will make it much harder to conceal the parts. But when you just grab and go, the hair kind of just fluffs back over the parts to cover it up on its own. You don't have to do much manipulation to your hair to get it to cover everything. And as you can see, I kind of feel like I'm at that awkward length with growing my hair out. Um, everybody who's natural or did the big chop or anything kind of knows about the awkward length um, that you go through when you're growing your hair out. And I'm kind of there. Forgot to bring my bobby pins in here with me. 
but um, usually I will just go ahead and pin this side back and then I'll sometimes pin this back as well just to kind of give my hair a little more structure because right now it's just all over the place so let me go grab those and I'll be right back. I have my bobby pins and um, I'm not real picky about my edges being like super slick using the edge control. I do have one but I'm not big on it and usually I only use it if I really want a sleek style and I'm not really going for that today so just use the brush and just use the product that's already on my hair to tame it back and I usually just cross it over just to kind of hold it a little bit better but of course you can twist braid it just pin it back leave it alone however you prefer to do your hair So I'll use two bobby pins and I will crisscross those as well to hold everything in place throughout the day. And then I'll go ahead and pin that little part back as well. All right, and depending on how your hair looks at that point, you are done. And to a style is a style, of course, it kind of gets better the older it gets. So I like usually day two or three hair is best for me just because it's it's not so perfect it still looks good um, it's just it's just the best for me I know it may sound weird but I don't love first day hair but you know you work with it <laughs> so here's my hair all done and I just do that to make sure it has even shape on both sides but that is it guys so I'll turn around and do a 360 if I can ever stop separating and fluffing <laughs> so you guys can see everything but here you go and that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I hope it helped you if you were getting frustrated with your twist styles that you weren't sure what you were doing wrong, why they weren't coming out right. Um, so I really, really hope this helps. If you have any questions at all, please definitely leave them in the comments below and I will answer them. But until next time, 